So guys, good day. Another video again. Today I want to share to you the defense called the slab defense for black. It's anti queen gambit setup. So let's start. Okay, d4. Basically, uh, black would play d5, c4, and then c6. So this is the slab setup. Knight f3, knight f6, knight c3, d takes c4. So, black take the pawn on c4, taking the gambit on c4. How would white continue? e3. So, we can defend b5. Yes, of course. Black plays b5. And then now a4. A4, B4, attacking the knight. So, white can take this C4 easily. Knight B1, and then now bishop to A6. Defending the pawn on C4. Queen C2. Adding pressure on C4. B3, attacking the queen. Queen D1. A6. Trying to develop bishop, giving a check on b4. Bishop e2, and then same idea. Bishop d2, c5. My book said it's equal, but it's okay for black at least. Good setup for black. That's mode one of the slab defense. So from the start again, d4, d5. C4, C6, Knight of 3, Knight of 6. So after you're watching this video, you can try how to play Slav Defense. Knight C3 and now D takes C4. E3. Oh, no, not E3. In mode to E4. So same time, white plays E4. E2 pawn to E3, the first mode, and the second mode, E2 pawn to E4. So, E, e pawn is moved to Y. So, B5. E5, knight to D5. A4, threatening to capture. E6. A takes B5. Knight takes c3, b takes c3, of course, and then c takes b5, defending the c4 pawn. Knight g5, bishop b7, queen h5, trying to attack the f7, then g6, the position is equal. So now let's move to mode 3. So d4, d5, c4, c6, knight f3, knight f6, knight c3, d takes c4. Again, e4, b5, e5, knight d5, a4, e6. It's just the same. But in mode 2, white plays with a takes b5. But now in mode 3, white plays early, knight g5, h6, knight ge4, b4, knight b1, bishop a6, defending, knight bd2, knight to f4, white is okay, black is okay, no, white can take this with bishop take or knight take so position is equal now let's move on to mode 4 d4 d5 c4 c6 knight f3 knight f6 knight c3 d takes c4 and the most common move for white is to play a4 knight a6 e4 separate Okay, um, e5, of course, and then 
isang idea of bishop g4. e4 now, bishop g4. Bishop takes, threaten also to capture and then making double pawn for black. Black just plays e6. Bishop e3. Bishop e7. Castle. Knight b4. Rook c1, castle for black. h3, bishop h5. Both sides is okay. Now we're going to the mode 5 of this lesson. So mode 5 again starts with d4, d5, c4, c6, knight f3, knight f6, knight c3. This is the main line. b takes c4, a4. Now black can move bishop to g4. Knight e5. Moving the knight and keeping the bishop. Bishop h5, so now white can't move e3 or e4 because of threat on bishop takes d1. So f3, cover. Knight of b7, making trade. Knight takes c4, e5, trying to exchange. But if white takes, knight takes, nope. Are the aggressive because there is knight on e5, c4 to take some e5, e5. Now white plays knight e4, bishop d4 check, bishop d2, queen e7 defending the bishop, bishop takes, queen takes, position is equal, I guess. White just move on knight c d2. But there's a threat on b2. So let's see. Let's, uh, queen d2. Now white would play queen d2 here. Why? What if queen takes here? Okay. Genius move. Queen d2. If your idea is to take the knight, that is a bad idea because of knight to d6. So, Grandmaster's move here is to take the queen, then king takes, and then e takes. So, that's the continuation of that variation. So, now let's move on to the last d4, d5, c4, c6, knight f3, knight f6. At least now you have a defense against the queen's gambit. Knight c3, d takes e c4, a4, bishop g4, knight e5, bishop h5, last, the last mode moves to f3. But now white would play g3, trying to fianchet on the bishop. So e6, bishop g2, bishop to b4, castles, castles. Knight takes c4, knight d5 making exchanges, but white don't do that, just play queen d3, and bishop e7, both sides is okay, what if we're gonna continue this mode after bishop e7, what's the main continuation, white would play e4, knight to b4, queen d2, Knight eight a six b three and queen c seven with a chance for both sides. White plays with white here play um Gatakamsky for white and Boris Jelfan for black. The reference of this variation game at the last moment. So I hope you learned something about this video, you know how to play. The basic fundamentals of slab defense. If you think this is knowledgeable, give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos. That's it for today. This is Coach Eman. I'm offering one-on-one -on -one tutorial. Just send me a message. All of the lessons is being 
um, lesson in Zoom meetings. So, see you. Okay, that's it. Thank you. Stay safe. Always play chess.